okay now we're going to do a chain stitch how to make a chain stitch um, in a previous video we showed you how to make the slip knot and make it as a first chain okay a chain stitch is you yarn over your hook and you draw that loop through the one that's on the hook and uh, um, every couple chain stitches move your thumb and middle finger up that chain to hold on to it yarn over draw through yarn over okay and when you draw it through twist your chain your hook down slightly to help get it through to make the chain uniform in size slide it back up to the shaft of your hook you don't want to have your tension really tight you don't want to have it too loose either you want to have nice V's in your chain yarn over twist down slightly draw it through push your hook back up you see how these are V's and you don't see big holes in the stitches that's what you want but you don't want them let me try to get them too tight so to, just to demonstrate if you get them too tight when you go back to work into the stitches you can't get your hook in there so um, you want your hook to determine the size of the loops that's why you have different size ho hooks because the distance around your hook makes your loop size, your stitch size. So you yarn over and draw that loop through. And if you notice, as I make my stitches, I pivot my hand forward. Now if you're doing this tension method that I showed you, if you're doing a different one it might not work for you. But I pivot my hand forward as I yarn over. And when I that doing that, draw it through. What that does is it pulls up some more yarn so that I ha always have fresh yarn here to work my next stitch. Okay, yarn over, draw it through, yarn over, draw it through. Now when you make your chain, I want you to keep practicing. Tear it out, do it again, keep practicing until your stitches are fairly even in size. Because if you don't, it will really show, because this is going to be the ed bottom edge of your scarf. So once you get your stitches uniform, then you, we can come back to the next video on single crochet. I want to um, tell you about when you read a pattern, a chain stitch will be marked as CH. It'll say, um, the beginning of your pattern might say CH20, which means chain 20 or make 20 chain stitches. And what you can do is you make the chain and you think you got it the length that you want it. And you go back, your front will have these little V's, your back will have these little bumps and this is where it looks like a chain on the back okay the ba the bumps are the purl side of your chain stitches and this is the front of your chain stitches okay now another thing I want to talk about on these chains is when you work back in them you're going to be going under one of these loops at a time all the way across so that's another important reason to have your chain loose enough to work back into and you want to have it tight enough so that you don't have these big loops hanging off the end of your scarf so practice 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 until you have your stitches even that make your chain the width you want your scarf and we'll come back and we're going to single crochet so happy crocheting